slightly. In 1982, the price of super unleaded gas was $1.50. Oh. <laughs> the first row, what was the first class postage stamp in 1982? 20 cents. <laughs> also, the man of the year was the computer from Time Magazine. <laughs> and the special effects movie? E.T. I was just going to say that, E.T. Under President Ronald Reagan's term, the federal debt was? 50 Zero. trillion. One trillion. <laughs> Today? More. <laughs> 15, over 15 trillion dollars. But on the other side, some things just never change. Jerry Brown. <laughs> <laughs> yep, he is still the governor. <laughs> Another thing that hasn't changed either is Rick Van Alstine's participation <laughs> in the Unity <laughs> Elf publicly extend our gratitude to Rhonda Edmondson's son, Mark, for putting in countless hours. He volunteered a lot of his time and put together a terrific website. Um, he's done this as a school project and it's taken a little bit more time, I think, than he expected it to originally. In 1980, he was elected president of the Capitol Beach Chamber of Commerce, becoming its youngest president at the age of 27. He later served as a director of the Dana Point Chamber of Commerce. In 1981, Rick made the move to Laguna Niguel, Beacon Hill, and he managed the Laguna Niguel branch of Great American Bank, which is now Wells Fargo Bank. Rick's past chamber experience drove him to become involved with efforts already underway to form a local chamber of commerce for Laguna Niguel. He was he was selected to the chair to chair the steering committee. In May 1982, the steering committee opened nominations for the office of the president. DRO threw Rick's name in the hat, and when all the votes were counted, Rick was elected to the first chamber charter president. Rick and Dro are the only two individual honorary chamber members. <laughs> And I'd like everybody to extend a warm welcome to Rick Van Olsen. Yeah. Good evening, everybody. Yeah. All right. In honor of Armed Forces Day, we want to thank the veterans for serving our country. So please stand to identify yourselves and remain standing for the Pledge of Allegiance, which will be led by Gerald Brown, the mayor of town, Joe Brown. Sheldon Pines, the 2007 Chairman of the Board, uh, to say some inspirational words for us to start our evening. So, Sheldon. There was a business that had been in the family for two or three generations, and the staff was happy, and customers loved to visit the store. For as long as anyone could remember, the current owner and previous generations of owners were extremely positive, happy people. Most folks assumed that it was because they ran a successful business. In fact, it was the other way around. A tradition in the business was that the owner always wore a big lapel badge saying, business is great. The business was indeed generally great, although it went through tough times like any other. What never changed, however, was the owner's attitude and the badge saying, Business is great. Everyone who saw the badge for the first time invariably asked, what's so great about business? Sometimes people would also comment that their own business was miserable, or even that they personally were miserable or stressed. Anyhow, the business is great badge always tended to start a conversation, which typically involved the owner talking about lots of positive aspects of business, and work. For example, the pleasure of meeting and talking with different people every day, the fun and laughter in a relaxed and healthy work environment, the fascination in the work itself and in the other people's work and businesses, the great feeling when you finish a job and do it to the best of your capabilities, 
the new things you learn every day, even without looking to do so. And the thought that everyone in business is blessed because there are many millions of people who would swap their own situation to have the same opportunities of doing a productive, meaningful job in a civilized, well-fed country where we have no real worries. And so the list went on, and no matter how miserable a person was, they usually end up feeling a lot happier after just a couple of minutes listening to all this infectious enthusiasm and positivity. It is impossible to quantify or measure attitude like this, but to one extent or another, it's probably a self-fulfilling prophecy. On which point, if asked about the badge, the badge in a quiet moment, the business owner would confide, the badge came first, the great business followed. The auctioneer, Maury Hansen, and his assistant, Miss Dee Fisher. <laughs> and the Chamber of Commerce, in my estimation, is the backbone of America. You think we're on your deal over there. You want to try to use those? I don't know. By the way, don't get mad at me. If you did, make sure I hear you. I don't know if they don't hear anybody on AB4. AB4, 400, 400, just buy 400. I got 400, you're 400. Did you say 400? Oh, about 500. Want to go 500? I need 500 over here. Don't look at him, just look at me. <laughs> 500, sir, 500. I'm, hey, I got gray hair. I'm good looking. I'm a sex seller. 500. I need $500. 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 
can't remember. That's right. Well, you did real quick, sir. That's you know, four out of whatever it is. White! Snow White! Who are you? Snow White. Oh, White! That's so fabulous! That's great! Hold your hands up first, would you please? Both hands? Okay. When I touch your finger, I want you to, as loud as you can, say the number of your fingers, starting with one. Here we go. One. That's as loud as you can do. As loud as you can do. One, two, three, four, five. Stop. Okay, we're going to start with one. One. One, two, three, four, five. Beautiful. Five plus five is? Ten. Of course it is. Let's count backwards. Here we go. Ten. Ten, nine, eight, six, five, four, three, two, one. Zero. Zero. Okay. <laughs> Uh, let's try this this one. one. Here we go. One. One, two, three, four, five, six, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Would you not like this woman as the teller at your bank? I can work with that. All right, let's do this easy now. Okay, we got Snow White up here, right? So like we're gonna have, you know, how many dwarfs? We're gonna put a blank in there. You're gonna fill in the number. Snow White and the blank dwarfs. Go ahead, fill in the blank. Okay, all right, we'll do this another way. 10 minus 2, Doug. 8. That would be 8. Let's take away 3. 5. Let's add 2. 7. It's back. You did it. What number is this? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 7. Wonderful. Congratulations. Back in your counting system. Sleep deeply. Who are you? Snow White. That's right. <laughs> Who's the president of the United States, sir? Sleep to your way down, sleep to you. You try to applause for a second. We have, you're going to be the greatest server in the world. You're going to win the contest by executing a flawless Kahuna butt twister move now. Kahuna butt twister, go for it. Show them what you got. She does the I've princess way. <laughs> Just perfectly. <laughs>